This is the Pentax ME Super, first made in 1979 and finished production in 1983. This is a wonderful full frame SLR camera and we're going to break this down to see how we can start shooting with it. This is a 28 millimeter f 2.8 lens. It is a wonderfully small nimble little thing. It is quite narrow as you can see here, almost pancake like in many ways. It's a brilliant brilliant little lens. So let's have a look at how we can use it. To focus, all you have to do is rotate this dial at the front here. This is the rim for it, like so. You want there to be a little bit of traction on it. This is quite smooth, as you can see, but just the right amount. And then you've got your aperture settings, which you can change by rotating this dial like so. That is pretty much it on the front end of things. To take off your lens, you just need to pull this little black bit down here, like so, and then gently rotate anti-clockwise, and then you can pull out the lens. So there you have it. There's the lens itself. You can see quite a nimble little thing. Make sure that it doesn't come with any scratches or fungus or whatever it might be on it. These generally have been really well kept over the years so I'm sure you'll be able to pick up a pretty good deal. To put this lens back on all you have to do is align the orange dot which you'll find on the side with the orange dot that goes here. So make sure that those are aligned uh, carefully. Gently put your lens back in and then twist clockwise like so and then it will, you'll hear a little click and then you'll be in. At the front of the camera you've also got a timer. You can pull this down. Once you hit the shutter release it will start going and then it takes about 10 seconds for it to get to its point. So enough time for you to run in to get into the shot. There you go. That's the front of the camera done. Let's look at the top of the camera over here on the far left hand side. You've got your bracketing exposure settings. So if you want to change it, it's really quite simple. You just rotate the dial and then you're good to go. Easier actually than the Nikon FA. Really simple to use. So if that's something that you use on a regular basis, bear that in mind. Obviously this bit here is for the film. So once you're winding it back, then you can just rotate. Obviously to the, put the film in you just pop that up and then open like so and then you've got your film back we'll come back to that in a second you've got your shutter release at the top here you can put in a cable release you can manually put that in at the top like so it's obviously the shutter cock which will go across like so and then press the button and then it will release you've also got manual exposure mode on here you can also do bulb mode as well so that's something to consider you've also got the hot shoe right at the top over here just be really mindful that when you put on a trigger or a remote whatever it might be when you're taking it off take it off slowly you don't want to lose the contact on here considering that this is a very old camera it might be difficult for you to get some new ones on it'll be very pricey for you you've also got the shuttercock on the right hand side of the camera like so and then you can just press this button here shutter release and it makes that really satisfying sound you've also got some options here at the top so you can choose between manual mode bulb mode 2 as well as the auto mode which has already been set here one of my favorite things about this camera is that when you look through the viewfinder once you set your aperture and your shutter speed and so forth and the iso has been set at the top here the camera will tell you whether you are exposing well for the scene and it has a traffic light system which you can see in the inside so it'll go from red to orange to, to green and that could be particularly useful for any new film photographer with no light meter and that way you're going to make sure that you've got your subject your scene well exposed for so a very very helpful little thing in there too to release the film back all you need to do is lift this little dial here and then it will pop open. You can go ahead and pop your film in there, pull it across to the other side. Now, one of my favorite things about this camera here is this ball on the right-hand side of the, of the camera. It's very easy to put the film tongue into this, and then you can just go ahead and kind of rotate the film. It will catch on very, very quickly and easily. This was, I think, a little bit unique compared to other 35 millimeters cameras from its time. Once you've got that done, you can go ahead shut the back and make sure that you've got that shut down. You can go ahead and shoot to your heart's content. Now once you've taken that battery holder off, just make sure that the contacts are clear on it and make sure that it stays clean. These things, again, very hard to find should you need to change them in the future, so look after it. You've got two cells that go in here. One's kind of in there already, but this is a L1154 cell. And you can find these online or a good electrical retailer. Pop that into the camera here. This will make sure that your light meter functions appropriately, carefully. Just twist that on. Use your 10 cent coin or 20 pence coin or whatever it might be, then just carefully gently put that back on. As this is a full frame 35mm camera you can change the lenses and there's lots of different 
Pentax lenses available, they're fantastic lenses. This one is a 28 millimeter. I'm gonna change this up and show you how a 50 millimeter looks like on this camera. Just gently take that off. We've got a 50 millimeter right here. It's incrementally larger than the 28 millimeter. Just align that up, align the orange dots up and then close like so. And you've got your 50 millimeter here. This is a 50 millimeter F1.7. The same sort of functions here. You've got the rotation to focus your lens and then also the shutter speeds like so functions and works in the same way as all the other Pentax lenses obviously just as a comparison so you can see the difference between the two lenses this is the 28 millimeter on the right hand side here and the 50 millimeter on the left there's really not much in terms of difference between them this one being slightly larger than 50 millimeter and this one being a little bit more narrower beautiful lenses really very light both of them this one being slightly heavier perfect for portraits as well as landscapes if you want an all in one 50 millimeter is the way to go but if you're shooting street photography then 28 millimeter might be a little bit too wide for those enthusiasts out there uh, you might prefer a 35 millimeter for me anyway i've not had any issues with the 28 mil lens this camera has a faster lighter full manual exposure control than the k1000 available it also has a cable release function so you can pop in the cable release into the top here and use that as well i think this is a wonderful street photography camera it's so easily held it's light it's portable it's quite friendly in the way that it looks and also when you're carrying it. For any beginner photographer, I would strongly recommend getting one of these. Particularly for those of you who don't have light meters and want to use one that's already built in, this will be perfect for you just to make sure that you get those shots absolutely well exposed. Considering that the Pentax, they had so many of these cameras out there, if something does go wrong, then you've got options to find ways of fixing it. However, even if the battery stops working, the light meter stops working, it is a fully mechanical camera. So it will carry on working without those functions if they're not important to you. Let me know if you've shot with this camera in the comments below, hit the subscribe button. I'd love to hear from you as well. What's the best way to shoot with this? Doesn't really matter whether you're shooting color, slide film, black and white film, everything's gonna work in here. Just make sure that you expose it well. Let me know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you and I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.